Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another video. And today we're finally going to be discussing the brand new Team NT box sets that um I uh, briefly mentioned in my last video, of course, and even in the video before, not counting the YouTube shorts that I've been posting lately. But for those of you who don't know, um, so Playmates has put out these um not not only two, but actually three box sets, which are the um, Sewer Heroes, the Toon Turtles, and a couple of bad guys too. I don't really know exactly what they call that in particular, but today I really want to discuss talking about the Sewer Heroes and the Toon Turtles only because, well, well, what can I say? There's some things to discuss. I don't know. That's all I got to say. It's been something I've wanted to talk about for a while, and I've definitely delayed it for uh, quite some time. So technically, this is kind of old news, but I still would like to talk about it anyway, because I definitely think it's a lot that I'm actually worth getting, and I'm sorry about that. That was my own. Um, um, yeah, okay, there we go. Hopefully, it doesn't fall again, so I do apologize for that. Uh, listen, nothing, nothing here is perfect, all right? Nothing at all. So let's just hope that doesn't happen again. Uh, all right, so without further ado, we're going to get right to the discussion. So before I move on, I think some context is definitely needed because there's definitely a little bit of a backstory to a lot of this. So I do apologize if we do take a while in this portion. So we will get to the box sets eventually, but I need to discuss a little bit of the history about this, right? So, of course, this is Playmates Toys we're talking about here. Now, obviously, this whole thing started because, well, we're always the biggest people to go to when it comes to them for crying out loud. To the, this is the perfect occasion. Just the background full of playmates figures and all that. This basically the whole collection is basically playmate stuff except for the bottom, which is as you can see, this is my neck turtle. So just so you get the idea. Right? Basically, what happened is obviously big Ninja Turtle stuff related stuff at all they've ever worked on that was kind of a big deal was with rise of tmnt but then ever since nickelodeon pretty much canceled the show um unfortunately a lot of that a lot of those awesome figures we saw at new york toy fair never came to be except for maybe a few of them like bull hop and we did get shredder eventually but unfortunately yeah that's kind of where things you know cut ties and then eventually you got NECA Toys. They're, they're the biggest thing right now when it comes to turtles. That's like the go-to company right now when it comes to turtle stuff. I mean, it's not hard to see why. I still need to talk about San Diego Comic-Con, obviously, because they announced so many new things. Like now they got the license to the IW Turtles and all that. And it's like, okay, that's fantastic. Now we're going to be seeing plenty of turtle figures. They're not going away anytime soon. That's great, right? But what happened with Playmates? You know, they're pretty much out of the lead. You know, they haven't really done anything... Uh, big or extraordinary per se. Basically, a lot of the products they've been releasing for the past few years have been pretty much mediocre. And look, even I'm just going to have to be honest and ad admit it, all right? Uh, a lot of the products they've been putting out recently that's Team NT related hasn't really been doing so well per se. They're like thriving extraordinarily with their Godzilla stuff, obviously. As you guys know, I'm a huge Godzilla fan, so of course it makes sense that I would cover that. When I talked about these box sets for the first time, I was literally discussing their brand new King Ghidorah figure they made, which I honestly thought looks really cool. And, you know, I mean, it's articulated well. That battle damage looks pretty decent, you know? And it's it's definitely a, a somewhat bigger figure because of his giant wings. I mean, he looks pretty average size for the most part. He's not obviously a huge figure but it's definitely worth it for the price point at least you know so there was that <laughs> but basically what i'm trying to say is that their godzilla stuff perfect but their turtle stuff um i was gonna i'm gonna say it's debatable Don't say that right there you know because what they've been putting out lately is with their classic figures so for those of you who don't know what i mean by that uh basically Years and years ago, I want to say like in 2013, they released a whole line of figures known as like the classic collections where I want to say they're basically t um, Playmates attempt at ad adult collectors, you know, making figures that were super articulated. Heck, even the hands were articulated, which I'm going to be honest with you. I think those figures would have been amazing, like perfect, downright 10 out of 10. It wasn't for that whole articulated thing because honestly, they don't well when you kind of around stuff like that so that was kind of a bummer uh especially since even with their later figures they start releasing more and more uh they didn't there wasn't too much of a catalog with it i remember they were pretty big back then though i remember 
years, but looking back at it now, people kind of uh, look at them and like, eh, you know, like, like not, not in the, not in the uh, greatest point of view, obviously, because now we got bigger stuff. You know, you have Super 7, you got NECA Toys, you got all these competitors now, and Playmates have pretty much been bit out of the dust, basically. They are like, now they're like the low-tier company when it comes to this stuff, and it makes me sad, you know, because it's like, damn, you know, they were like the top when it comes to this stuff, you know? It's like, that's not to say that they're doing bad now, I'm just saying, you know? Um, And then, of course, they release... Well, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to mention, too. They made... When they first created the Classics line, it consisted of the four Turtles, Bebop, and Roxetti. And they wanted to make more. Of course, they wanted to do Krang. They wanted to do Shredder. But unfortunately, that never came around. They did make, like, movie Turtles, though, specifically based on the second film. And, um... Within time, I know they did, like, the comic book versions as well, but they were just mostly repaints of the classic collection, you know, of the first wave Turtles. So, yeah, basically what's been happening now is that they've been releasing these, like, crazy two-packs, you know. All of a sudden, there was, like, a Raphael with Triceraton, and that was kind of new, but then they made a Donatello and Shredder, and it's like the Shredder figure's not bad, but it's like there's something off about it. So obviously people weren't really too happy with what's been going on with Playmates lately, basically. You know, that's kind of where I'm trying to get it, get with really. So when I saw these box sets, I was really surprised with how good they were, which I will get to that in a bit. I just need to explain this. Uh, there's a little bit more I need to discuss before we get right into it, because I know this is kind of dragging. But listen, context is important. It's good to really discuss this type of stuff because, well... I think it's very important to see like the company's improvements and what they need to fix. Obviously though, you have to critique it. You know, it's a big, it's a big ass company selling toys. So you better hope that they give us some good quality stuff. It only makes sense, you know, just kind of doubting and talking shit about them all the time. That's not really going to get anywhere if I'm being honest with you. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, that's what they've been mostly doing. They did like a demon city and Cobra Kai two pack. And now with their recent ones, they got Team NT versus Street Fighter. And then they had Team NT with Stranger Things, which apparently it's out now, I think. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of toy collectors like Toy Shiz and Pixel Dan. They already got their hands on it. And I'm like, wait a minute. How did they came out already? They were just announced literally not too long ago. But I can only assume that they probably ordered them through the Target app or whatever. Because these are Target exclusives. Unlike the box sets that are walmart exclusive which i am not happy about but we'll we'll get there we're, we're, we're getting there. we're getting there guys we're, we're very close to it right to, to the actual discussion video because what they also been doing besides the classic collection stuff which is kind of the big deal um they put out these box sets that are sort of based off of like a lot of their older figures that they made during the vintage toy line i can't really remember exactly what was the first first I know they did like the uh, comic book packs where that one wasn't really exactly based on the movie. It was actually based on the Nickelodeon TV 2012 line. Uh, uh, six pack, you know, it got the four splinter. And those four turtles was, um, like I mentioned, let me see. Do I got them right in front of me? Uh, let's see. Uh, where are you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least give you, show you guys one example, at least from the collection, if I can, um, actually find it. Okay, there he is. All right, I'll show you one example. If poor, if Mikey doesn't fall. Okay, there we go. So basically, these figures, right, that they were re-releasing, you know, and when they really Shredder and Splinter, they were just repainted figures of like the vintage line which i unfortunately don't have um but if you were ever curious about getting them you could pretty much find them on ebay like separate you don't really have to necessarily buy the pack you want to. i mean i only i own all the turtles except for donatello so it's like okay i don't i don't really see myself buying the set so i wouldn't mind paying him separately you know and I want to say that this was kind of like the beginning of those box sets because ever since like the pandemic and all that, they've been releasing a whole bunch of them. Now, I don't know if this came out first or second, but eventually they did made a, a another pa a box set that included the, you know, the four original turtles, the original Sh shredder and splinter, you know, like their original molds and all that just re-releasing like in the pack, of course. But, um, a lot of these have been Walmart exclusive anyway, except for the movie star one. The movie star turtle box set was definitely Target exclusive. 
Uh, but the thing is, they never appeared in stores, so I'm assuming you would have to buy these online. These were probably online only, which, uh, man, you know, it is what it is, I guess. You know, I can't really complain about that. I'm more of a, I want to go to the store type guy, if I'm being honest with you. Or I'm not really all about that, you know. Listen, I, I'm I'm a I'm an e I'm an avid eBay shopper. Okay, what can I say? I literally just posted a video today of me getting um a robust from the original um Ultraman show. So yeah, there's that. Um, and then of course the the movie Star Turtles. I remember people were going like like crazy over that, not because they wanted it, but because there was a lot of issues with it. And the problem was that, well, the original movie star figures, they had like these weird kind of rubbery type feel. Of course, they did. That wasn't included with that. It was just your basic plastic figures, which I didn't really mind. I didn't really think that was an issue. A lot of people really didn't like that. But sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. But what I will agree on and what I hate the most is with their weapons. They don't include their original weapons at all, which makes me sad because a lot of their accessories were really nice. Each turtle came with like an ooze canister, which I, I love that so much. Unfortunately, that was not present in the packs. And of course, the most controversial one of all was their movie star Splinter because that was just a repainted uh, version of the vintage figure. And people, were, ooh, I mean, not, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look pretty good. Uh, now, this is the original movie star Splinter. This is the actual original one from the 90s toy line. And this is how it would have supposed to be. But when in the box set, it didn't look nothing like this. It was just a repainted version of the of the you know the vintage cartoon Splinter, which I unfortunately don't have. I will like I wanna ha I wanna own it, but unfortunately I don't have one. So I'm definitely gonna have to buy it off of the old eBay once I save up some more cash. Um, who knows how much that's gonna cost? If I'm being honest with you, you know, I mean, there's different versions and re-releases. So I highly doubt it's gonna be super expensive, but still. And then I know after that. They definitely did a couple of more, but I can't really remember exactly the order of them. So I do apologize if I'm leaving some of them out. Uh, I know one of the recent ones was like with their their sewer sports, which had like the sports turtles, and they all they all look pretty well. But the thing that baffled me was with Michelangelo was it was not the right figure. Because the original figure was Wrestling Mikey, but for some reason they replaced it with Skateboarding Mikey, which isn't really from the same variant line, but it's whatever. All right. You know, I'm not complaining because I already own the figure. I have the original, so it's like, it's okay, you know. But the ones I really, 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 really want to get to is the uh, Sewer Heroes and the Toon Turtles, because those, I think, are honestly, in my personal opinion, those are one of the best turtle figures from the vintage line. I don't know what it is. They're so goofy and dumb. It's so stupid, but it's like, it kind of works, you know, because it's it, all that, that weirdness with the turtle figures, you know, that's what I really like about them the most. So the Sewer Heroes con contain four figures. It got Super Dawn, Super Mike, Rhino Man, which is just Rocksteady, and then uh, Mighty Bebop. And basically the whole gimmick was that they were like superheroes. So obviously if you look at Michelangelo's design, his got that whole kind of Superman thing going on or kind of like an American type thing. I say American because like there was like some like red, white, and blue colors going on. Even on his boots, he got like freaking feathers. And I'm like, okay, that's, <laughs> that's pretty creative. No, I'm not going to lie. And my favorite things about these figures is that they have a little buddy figure. That's one of the best things about the vintage toy line was that they came with the little buddy figures you know well not all of them but some of them did you know muck man with joe eyeball wing nut with screw loose i know monty moose he had one with like a weird beaver dude uh the, yeah there was a whole array filet you know he had one too i can't remember the names exactly but uh, they, they're there they're there you know so don't get me wrong right uh and, and oh napoleon bone frog he had like a weird little fly buddy but I don't think they're really meant to be friends because his accessory is literally a fly swatter. So I'm like, is he like in a nuisance? Like, what's what's the deal here? Oh, and who can forget Sergeant Bananas with his lemur buddy? And look, I, I, I'm not going to remember all the names. Okay. This is a massive toy line. All right. There's a lot of these big characters and all that. Some of these characters were just made up for the toy line, like Monty Moose, for an example. He never actually appeared in the original cartoon, or at least I'm pretty sure he didn't, you know? But, yeah, you know, Toy was pretty crazy. So, of course, it only made sense that these figures were pretty bizarre in and of their own nature. What also made them interesting was that their action feature was that you could move their waist and, and they do, like, a nice little power punch. So, um, 
I had the re-releases that came out, like, I want to say, like, somewhere in the 2010s. They should probably say it somewhere on their backs or under their foot. This is the, uh, this is the, yes, the 2016 re-releases. This is the ones that I own. So, basically, what you would do is that you would kind of push back, and that's what they did. And you don't necessarily have to do that. You can make, you can make them go crazy, you know? I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could kind of do like a, yeah, you, you, you could cut, you you, you you can make them do that pretty much, you know, just kind of bash them pretty much, you know, that's pretty fun. Right. So what I like now, what's interesting about these re-releases too, is that I've noticed what the brand new ones that are coming out in these boxes, I've noticed that the paint job, uh, they're actually improving because the original vintage line, you know, those figures had like more paint going on. These 2016 releases, they are missing some paint apps. So, for an example, Michelangelo doesn't have like painted white feathers. You know, uh, his belt is also missing a couple of colors, of course. And I, I think the letter T. I think that's the way it is. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. I don't think it's meant to be a different color. Uh, but I'll double check with you just in case because I actually do have the pictures right here uh, as I am looking through it. Just kind of scooping by. Uh, yes, okay, I was correct. So with the ones that are coming in the box set, you will notice uh, as soon as I lowered the brightness down, uh, you will notice how he got like the white stars on his knee pad, which this one was lacking. And um, you also notice that the weapons are a different color too, which I mean that was that was pretty common in the original toy line. Some of the figures actually did came with like different paint apps when it comes to their weapons and all that. So there's you know there's that. Uh, complicated, I know, but it is what it is. No big deal, right? Uh, you see the belt is painted white while this one isn't. It's just a straight up red color straight away. And the same goes for the letter M where it's painted yellow while this one isn't on his belt, you know? And yes, as for the T logo on his chest, uh, the original figure definitely had like some black lines going on. So this one is like a direct like accuracy. It's it's definitely like if you get this figure, it's like you're owning the original vintage figure, even though it's going to say like 2022 at the bottom of the foot. But that's fine. That's great, you know. And same goes for Donatello. Um, the reissue on this one, it's not completely different. Um, so if you look in the picture, you'll notice that the letter D is painted white, but on this one, it isn't. So it's interesting because uh, basically they're putting effort in their figures with the paint app. So that's fantastic, you know, and it's also unexpected because you would think it's the opposite, you know, because playmates, do, they're kind of like that, you know, I mean, they'll release something and they're going to have some good paint or it doesn't. For example, the Team NT and Stranger Things 2 pack. Uh, with Raphael and Hopper, I've noticed that everything else is perfectly fine, but then for some odd reason, Hopper's bat, it's the spikes, like the nails are on it, are unpainted for some reason. So it's just a solid brown color. And I'm like, okay, I wonder, I wonder what that was all about. Cause all their other weapons are painted. He even comes with a gun and it's like a realistic looking one too. And it's like painted so perfectly. So I'm kind of wondering what, what's the priorities here? You know, was, was it like a timing thing? Were they just out of time? They couldn't paint everything? I don't know. It's whatever, all right? But let's not, you know, let's just disjoint it. Uh, just I keep talking about these, you know? The most important thing of all, they come with Rhino Man and maybe, but that's great because, you know, we didn't get that with the 2016 re-releases. We only got Super Mike and Super Don, and that was about it, you know? So seeing these other two figures finally coming back, that's great because I got mind you guys, these were very rare figures too online before, even before these were re-released, you know, I mean, it was, it was such a shock that they even decided to re-release this to begin with. I mean, it's definitely one of their more obscure lines, but either way, it's fantastic to finally see these older figures come back. That's great because that gives an opportunity, especially for people like me and especially for people that are into Ninja Turtles. You know, if you want to get into these, like, especially with the vintage line, the vintage toy lines, it's just iconic. They're honestly legit great figures. And it's not hard to see why, because they were definitely, you know, back in those days when they were around, they were voted like 
best boys and girls toys. And I'm not, I'm not joking. Even little girls, even they love the Ninja Turtle toys. That's crazy, you know? And even in the documentary, I forgot what it was called. It was like Turtle Power. They even, they were discussing that, like when the toy line was like super popular, but like way too popular. And even Playmates admitted it too. They got a lot of baggage on them too. So it's like, that's the reason why they got to create all these weird random characters that never even appeared in the cartoon, you know? Uh, uh, speaking of cartoon, we still need to talk about the Toon Turtles, and I'm, I'm going to get to that because we're like 20 minutes in the, into the video, so I do apologize if this is taking forever, but look, I got a lot to say, all right, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, so hang tight, and we're getting right to it, but last things we need to talk about first is, of course, um, uh, this is just like the, the promotional picture, obviously, you know, uh, this is how they look in their packages, of course, um, You'll also notice that with Michelangelo, his accessories are red and the ones I have are blue. But don't worry, that's not like a weird decision that they made or whatever. Back in the original toy line, that was pretty much the same thing too. You were either going to find Michelangelo with red, orange, or blue accessories. They used to do that, but that's like a whole entire thing in general. And I'm not going to get too much into that. I just thought I'd kind of let you guys know just again wonder why their weapons painted differently, you know? And of course, yes, before I move on to the Toon Turtles... Um, yes, Rhino Man and Mighty Bebop, they do include little buddy figures as well. So that's perfect. That's great. And, you know, they're in a translucent plastic and whatever. So yeah, that's how they're going to come. Uh, it's going to retail at $49.99. So yes, it's pretty expensive. 50 bucks, basically. Now, obviously that wouldn't be too bad if it was like 40 because they got four figures and whatever. And even with their previous sets with the six packs, they were only like 50 bucks or so. So that wasn't too bad. So obviously, it's up to interpretation. Either you really, really want these sets or you don't. You know, that's all I'm going to really say. And for future reference, if you plan on buying them, this is what the box set looks like. So now, now that we're done with the Super Turtles, we're going to be talking about the uh, Toon Turtles now. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll try not to talk too much about this one because, like I say, this video is going on for way longer than I thought. But, right, so the Toon Turtles were... Um, definitely goofy for sure. They were definitely one of those weirdest and bizarre Ninja Turtle variants in the line. And it's not hard to see why. So before I really show you how atrocious they, they looked. <laughs> so basically in the original toy line with the turtle figures, they didn't really look exactly like their cartoon counterpart. They looked nothing like them, which it's not a bad thing in particular, but like, it's nice that Playmates acknowledge that maybe it's good to pump out figures that l actually look like their cartoon counterparts. So that's what they did. But um, they were extremely goofy. But it's like you look at these and it's like like freaking this is the definition of a kid's toy for sure. I got to show you. They got like these weird action features. And like Donatello had one where if you press like a button, his bandana will twirl around. Raphael had one where if you press the button, his head will spin around. Uh, Mikey, because he's Mikey, you know, his tongue, his tongue could kind of stick out and whatever. That's a pretty common trope in the Ninja Turtle toy, so I'm not exactly surprised by that. And this, that's, that's probably one of, like, the first, like, instances where that's happened. But we've definitely have gotten plenty of Ninja Turtle figures where they got the action feature with the tongue sticking on whatever. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, but the worst one of all, though, is Leonardo. Why is he the worst one? Because he, he could bug out his eyes. But it's like, you you look at his face, and it looked like he just witnessed an accident or something. So I'm going to show you the pictures. I'm going to show you one by one, though. So, um, yeah, let me get right to it. So this is the Toon Raph. This is the pack, by the way. Um, I like how it looks like the original packaging. That's I forgot to mention that. That's the great thing about them. That's Raphael uh michelangelo donatello and leon wait 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 no that's leonardo and that's donatello i'm sorry you guys i don't mean to do that um you can't really see it too clearly by the pictures i showed you but um I, just be trust me when you look at the pictures you'll see what i mean by the whole buggy eye kind of thing basically as you've just seen they look kind of cutesy that's kind of that look that they got you know but the one thing that shocks me the most, though, is not only are they painted so well and they're painted very accurately to how their original figures used to look, but they got all their accessories. That's the best thing because the movie star turtles, they did not came with their original weapons at all. They came with the original vintage figures weapons, which it's kind of a, tr a tired trope at this point, right? 
it's good to see that they kept the original accessories. You know, you got the, the turtle com and you got like their nice goofy weapons that are painted just like their bandanas. I love that. I've always loved that about those figures, you know. And one of my favorite things is that they came with a TV. Now, that's the only slightly different thing about these figures was that originally the TVs had like a weird like little picture. And if you move it around, it made like some movements and whatever. Uh, these new packs don't have that. They're just like, it's just a picture of the four turtles, basically. And, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with that. At least everything's still there, you know. And even if, for whatever reason, if you're disappointed by that, uh, look at it this way. At least it's better than the re-releases in the late 90s. Because, yes, during like 1998 or 1999, they actually were re-released on the early 80s. I mean, I mean, the late 80s, early 90s. I'm sorry about that. Uh, this was when the original cartoon had already ended, and this was when they were doing Ninja Turtles: The Next Mutation, which obviously was pretty much flopped at that point. So I guess they were just kind of releasing figures just to release them. And they did release the Toon Turtles, but the one I always seen the most was just Michelangelo. I've never really seen the other four, other three turtles get that treatment. And you'll notice with the accessories, they came with like this kind of Ninja Star pizza thingy, you know, like a weird circle shape thing and the pizza it was just a sticker but in the release it was just like a flat disc no stickers saying goes for the tv it was just like a plain old tv so at least we're not we're out there you know they've definitely gotten better with that. so you know what without that i'm gonna say it right now these are the best box sets you know too bad there weren't exclusive because walmart is garbage but you know because it's like for a lot of reasons you know and I, i'm not gonna get too much into it because i'm not joking when i said this video it was but somebody legit commented really really no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get into it i'm gonna leave it at that All right so that's the downside with these sets same goes for their villain pack this is the uh originally i will discuss this but i guess i'll briefly mention it they did made a box set with like new villains so they had like mutagen man i think we know and screwless i think they're in it leatherhead he's in it and um, I think Slash is in it too, but I really don't remember. I didn't really look too much into that because I wasn't interested because I already had all those figures. So it's like, I don't see a purpose for me buying them. But if you're obviously new to the vintage line and you want to get these figures, but you don't want to spend so much money on just one figure, obviously go for these packs. Of course, that's what they're for. I fully support that. Most people don't because I'm going to be honest with you. People still kind of trash talk Playmates anyway. Uh, because of stuff like this but i think that this is a perfect opportunity for like new co newcomers and collectors don't want to get into this type of stuff you know so i'm trying to look at it like that you know at least you know it's not if it's not for you it's for someone else because if you want to say that these are trash and nobody buys them look someone's clearly buying them because playmates keep making more and i'm pretty sure they're not, they're not going to stop so you know what more more power to you Keep making more playmates. I really do like these box sets. And, well, you know, because they're Walmart exclusive, you know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they will be in stores. I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. I highly doubt. Walmart's like that. Sometimes they'll put up, they'll put out stuff. Sometimes they won't. Uh, their quality control isn't exactly perfect. And their um, customer service isn't really the most friendliest, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, that I'm not going to touch. That's a topic I'm definitely not going to touch on. Maybe at a later date, but not now. I just wanted to, of course, talk about these turtle sets. Of course, I've been wanting to talk about them for a while. So it's like, there we go. I finally put them out there. And, uh, you know, just the magic of these toys, you know, you'd be pretty surprised how great these figures actually are. You know, you don't see it at first, but once you have them in your hand, it changes your perspective like, of like, like, wow, you know, it's, it's great. You know, I like these figures. And if you want to buy some turtle figures, I highly suggest getting these. If you're brave enough to buy them from a Walmart website, it is, you know, like I said, it might to maybe appear on eBay or so. And I know technically because that's basically Scalper Central. But uh, to be fair, these are re releases. These aren't the actual original figures. So I doubt they'll go for that much. But, uh, you know, it's a risk. But it's a risk worth taking because, hey, they're pretty damn close to their originals. That's what I like a lot. And hey, more turtles. You know, what's wrong with that? You know, They're like, come on. Like, which is coming true. You know, you got to try, try to look at it like that. You know, so 
you know, it's up to you. If you're going to buy them, buy them. If not, it's all right. You know, that's what, that's what we get. That's what you got neck on super seven for, right? <laughs> uh, it's funny that I mentioned that because, well, you know what? I'm not going to discuss it now. It's better if I talk about it in another video because yeah, Super 7 and NECA, they're both like collectibles, you know, and all that. And they got like their own Ninja Turtle stuff going on. Uh, both really great, obviously. But, you know, there's like, uh, there's things about them, you know. It, it's one of those, no, I love NECA. No, I love Super 7 more. It's one of those things. It's kind of become like a full-blown argument. Singles for Playmates, where people kind of, you know, talk shit about them because of the products they've been releasing lately. But you know what? Nah, come on. I think these are great. Also, their Godzilla stuff is fantastic. So what are you talking about? You know, so we're going to end it there, of course. So that's about it, you know, and uh, thanks for tuning in. You know, I'm very glad that you guys decided to kind of uh, check up a possible something random. Uh, next thing I'm going to is, of course, with San Diego Comic-Con. That might not be the exact next thing I'm going to be talking about. There's definitely a lot of stuff I really, really want to discuss. Uh, but most likely, that's probably what I'll do. Heck, I might even put in a toy review here and there. I mean, well, you know, come, you know, I, I, I have to. I got to review this guy. Come on, man. Ultraman, you know. Uh, also, I'm really behind with that. So I think it's better if I start pre-recording right away with that so that I don't forget. Uh, because trust me, even though I've been pretty down and whatever, and I haven't really been in the mood to make videos, uh, trust me, I mean, you know, now that I'm starting to kind of get back into it and kind of reel in a little bit, I think it's fair for me to actually want to start making those videos. So until then, uh, yeah, I'll be working on that. You know, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. If you dislike it, you dislike it. And yep, that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out.